that we do in December. And so this is kind of the, you know, we're here to honor the cycle of nature, the cycle of the story that we've been given, that we move from one season to the next, that we move from light into darkness. And so from our winter solstice, we've come to our summer solstice, where um, we kind of are celebrating the fruits of our, of our labor. Um, the fruits of our work. Uh, uh, and Jerry's idea was that the, the fruit, or the, well, our produce that we would make would supplement meals for open table, yeah. which is our lunch for hungry folks on Sundays. Um, so that is still part of the main purpose of the garden. So we've gone from one raised bed um, to four raised beds, um, along with a fig tree, some baskets, lots of native plants, an herb garden around the side. Um, this year we now have a food forest, so we have two apple trees, a pear tree, um, and soon to be three blackberry, no, blueberry bushes and blackberry? and about five blackberry bushes. Um, so that's considered permaculture. Those are things that will happen year after year without, um, after a couple years without a lot of human intervention. Um, so the idea is when you're walking down the street in a couple years, you can pick an apple and continue on your way. So that's, so we're here to celebrate the cycle because we're in a place that, that exists because of a cycle of light and dark, um, water, air, soil. That's why we're here. Um, so we're also here to commission um, our fourth hive. We uh, so about three years ago we got um, honeybees. So because one of our members, Erin Little Star, had an idea, she said we should get honey. We should get honeybees. She said okay. <laughs> so not only to pollinate the garden, but as a response to colony collapse disorder, um, which is killing off maybe uh, 40 to 60 percent of commercial beekeepers' hives. Um, so on average, uh, bees die, you could lose 10 to 20% of your bees um, per year if you're a commercial keeper. But now they're losing about 40 to 60% for a multitude of reasons, um, pesticides, climate change, uh, basically human choices about how we're, we're caring for the planet or not caring for the planet. So we're, we've now upped ourselves to four hives, which is by DC law is the most that we can have um, according to our square footage. Um, and so the DuPont Circle, yeah, so the DuPont Circle Citizens Association approached Jeff this winter and said, oh, you should get a high. Um, you should, we should give you five, you should apply for a grant fund for $500 to go to Tier Bees. Um, so we did. And so they gave us a grant for $500. Is anyone from, from the, from the Citizens Association here? Gloria yes, was here. Gloria's here. She's right here. Oh. basically the reinstallation of um, all four hives. So each hive has about 15,000 bees in it, so times four. Um, so there's a lot of bees back here on any given day. Um, so we're gonna do that in a, in a few minutes. We're gonna commission that hive. Um, so first we wanna um, honor this uh, season of summer that we're now in. Um, by just, we, at Pilgrims, we do a lot of um, reflection, a lot of highs and lows um, about lots of things, but this right now we're going to do highs and lows about the summer. So every season has its ups and its downs. Um, so for a high of the summer, what would you, um, what's a high that you hope for this summer? Karina? Lots of tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. <laughs> Yeah, you're good, Karina. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a hive. I didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> we, got also got say, we also want to thank Karina and Martin for bartending. This is yeah. 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 All right, so highs of the summer. Just call them out. Vacation. Vacation. Sitting outside. Sitting outside. Beaches. What was it? Beaches. 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 The marriage Peaches. equality vote at GA. The marriage equality vote at GA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 
celebration for the summer. So if you have a Thanksgiving or gratitude to share, um, you share it, and then we say cheers. But don't drink it yet. <laughs> so if you have a gratitude, Jean Mary, always have a yeah. <laughs> For my daughter graduate, or granddaughter who graduated from high school. For graduation. Woo! Cheers. 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 Thanksgiving's for Jerry and for another graduation. Cheers. Cheers. Moving out of Wesley. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> but I know we need to share with you. Cheers. Cheers. My best friend getting, uh, since fourth grade getting married. Cheers. Cheers. For a I great to be here this summer. Cheers. Cheers! For a great pride celebration with pilgrims. <laughs> Can you say that louder, Amanda? For a great pride celebration with pilgrims. Cheers! Cheers. Finally, getting my film on public television next yes. week. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> For 
our fourth tithe. Cheers. So together we drink the promises of equality, of community, of goodness, of liberation, and freedom. It's in the cup. Cheers. Cheers. So we're here for as long as other people as you are here. So enjoy your company and enjoy drinks by Martin and Karina and the food. Um, and I'm going to ring our meditation bell just one more time. And if you could just use it as a moment to just kind of savor the air and the light and the darkness coming. The sun is now, the sun set at 8.37 p.m. So we're now moving into darkness. Um, so ring the bell and just savor the, the space that you're in. And let your mind do whatever your mind's going to do. And just focus on your breathing in the space. Okay? So we'll just do this for a minute. So peace be with you. Yes, also with you. Eat and drink in peace. Yeah.